One of the reasons I chose the Fendi Baguette Mini over the Fendi Baguette regular medium size is because the straps can be configured in so many different ways. And I love a versatile bag like this. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to style the Fendi Baguette Mini in over 10 different ways. If you have this bag, grab it and follow along. But if you're still considering whether this bag is worth it for you, at the very end of the video, I'm going to give you some outfit styling tips, just so you can see how versatile this bag is for you, so you can make a decision for yourself. On whether it's a worthwhile purchase. The most typical way people will wear it is by its single strap either over the shoulder or as a crossbody. And I think it fits my 5'7 frame perfectly when I wear it over the shoulder. However, when I wear it crossbody, I do prefer the bag to be a little bit shorter and higher on my torso because I think it looks a bit more proportional. Any one of these configurations, you can easily take off the top strap just for a different type of look. And I typically take off the top strap if I'm trying to do a look that requires a lot of chains. <laughs> very easy way to shorten the straps. It just turn the long strap once and tuck it in so that it forms an X formation on the inside and then close the flap. And there you go. I think this style is best fit for those who are a little bit shorter in terms of stature or prefer a shorter crossbody because I really like the style and how that looks. The one downside with this is I do find that when you open the bag, if you're not careful, it will just do this and undo itself. So you just need to make sure you support the bottom of the bag when you'd use that style so that when you open it and find your things, it doesn't undo itself. <laughs> If you want an even shorter strap, just twist the chain once and tuck the leather strap on the inside of the bag. This one's a great configuration if you like the shorter over the shoulder or if you like a double chain look because it does work better with more formal occasions so you don't see the leather white strap. Unfortunately, this is too short to wear as a crossbody so you can only wear this configuration over the shoulder. A shorter strap like this makes it really easy when you're walking around in busy areas and you don't want people bumping into your bag. You can just keep it tucked under and then hold your bag like this so that it doesn't get dirty. Color denim can transfer on to white bags. So if you do have a white Fendi baguette, this is the best way to wear it if you decide to wear it with denim pants to avoid color transfer. So the shortest configuration I can go with this long strap is if you loop the longest strap around the very top of the bag three times. This way you can only wear it like as a, as a top handle or in the crook of your arm like this, but it does just give it a different look if you really like a lot of the gold chain detailing at the top instead of the leather strap. I also like to carry it in the crook of my arm just by putting this strap together with this top handle and then holding it under here in the crook of my arm. So you can see a little bit of the chain, but it's not banging against the front here. You don't want to scratch the front buckle. If you want a more minimalistic top handle look, you can just take off the long straps and keep only the leather top handle on. And you can either wear it in the crook of your arm or just holding it by the handle. If you prefer a look like the Bottega Veneta pouch bag, then you can just take off all the straps and just carry it as is. And you can just tuck these uh, tabs down and then kind of hold it like this or under the arm if you prefer. I typically don't wear it like this because for me I'm more of a hands-free kind of gal so I will always probably have straps on my bag but it's just an option that you can use. Also if you prefer a no hassle kind of look you can also wear it as a wristlet. Instead of putting the top strap back like this what you can do is you can attach the top strap to just one side both ways like this, put your hand through it, and there you go. Oh, whoops, I'm putting it the wrong way through. You wanna put your arm the way the bag is, so you can just kinda of hold it easily like this. If you're taller than 5'7 and you feel like this bag might be a little short for you, there's a way to actually lengthen the straps. Once you take off all the straps off the bag, what you can do is you can take the top part, 
the top handle part of the bag, attach it to one side of the long strap, and then just reattach it to your bag because this way you'll get the longest strap possible. Now I think it, this way is way too long for me. I suggest this probably for someone six foot or even taller, someone who has a very tall torso. The easiest way to configure the belt is to detach one strap from one side, loop it around your waist twice, and then reattach it. If you have a larger waist size than I do, you could play around with attaching this strap to extend it a little bit further. Or you can use another way with strap adjuster. You can get a double chained effect on your strap if you tuck in the top of your leather strap and then use a strap adjuster. Once I take off the long strap, I actually reattach this chain to this loop up here. So you end up having two chains here that are a little bit longer. I'm just taking the loop here, taking the strap adjuster, putting that loop into one end, and then I take the bag and put it in the other end, and then close it. If you prefer having more chain peeking through and you still love having the leather strap kind of sitting on your shoulder, this is the best way. You just need to buy the strap adjusters, which are quite cheap, and I'll link a couple below because the ones that I currently have are no longer available. I call this configuration the side loop. You just tuck in the leather part of the long strap so that you have two chains at the sides. And you can hold this by looping your arm through the two loops of the bag. Alternatively, you can knot these two chains together and put your hands through the holes so that you can hold it a bit like a chain top handle loop and it almost looks like a decorative bracelet. Fendi mini baguette is really easy to style with all my summer dresses. And I really find that the white Fendi bag pops against a light blue dress. The Fendi baguette also works quite well with structured work dresses like this one. The Fendi baguette can be worn with darker clothes, but you just need to make sure you have a white accent or an accent that matches your bag in either your bottoms or your shoes. This is also a great bag when you're layering up for the fall or winter. I really like to wear it crossbody over my big and chunky sweaters just to give myself a little bit more shape. I love finding new ways to style popular classic items we have in our closet, not just bags, but t-shirts and belts, because it really helps you appreciate what you've already invested in. Even with something as simple as a white t-shirt, I found over 30 different ways to style this, which you can learn in this next video. Mwah. Thanks for watching.